So now the hits, meanwhile, keep on coming for the White House after the chaos we've watched on the southern border. An ICE agent telling Fox that illegal migrants with criminal records are being released into the U.S. in multiple cities. Their travel expenses are being paid with your tax dollars. And the Biden administration's tried to pretty much cover it all up. The New York Post front page today calling it border cover up. And the pictures don't lie. We showed them to you yesterday. More today. Griff Jenkins from the White House with reaction, if there is any. Griff, good morning. There is indeed, Bill. Good morning. Border Patrol officials tell me they've reached a breaking point this week. Now, on Tuesday, our own Peter Ducey pressed Press Secretary Jen Psaki over the videos of those single adult males being released in multiple communities in Brownsville and in San Antonio. Some, as you mentioned, reportedly with criminal records. Here is what Jen Psaki had to say about that. We continue to be under Title 42. Uh, migrants who cannot be expelled under tidy, Title 42 are placed into immigration proceedings. And one of those avenues could be placement in an alternative to detention program in the interior of the United States. Sometimes that means moving migrants to other parts of the United States to move to different detention facilities. Since then, that leaked body cam video showing migrants being flown into a New York airport under the cover of darkness. One source bill telling Fox News ICE has become a, quote, unofficial coordination travel agency. Meanwhile, Texas Governor Greg Abbott convened a border meeting with a dozen state attorneys general. Here's some of what he had to say. Joe Biden does not care that people are dying today because of the open border policies that is allowing fentanyl to come into our country. On that, Abbott says Texas DPS alone has seized more than 1,100 pounds of the deadly drug fentanyl, equivalent to more than 258 million lethal doses. And it's not just the border governors who have had enough. GOP Congressman Jim Comer says if Republicans take back the House in November, they may push for impeachment. The American people do not want these people uh, in their neighborhoods. And this is something that Joe Biden has snuck around. Uh, it's illegal. And I do expect Congress to hold him accountable. Now, the White House has not commented on that leaked New York tarmac video. The president heads to Pittsburgh today. Maybe we'll learn more. Meanwhile, the news here this morning at the White House is the president got a cat. Its name is Willow. Bill? <laughs> Thank you, Griff. Griff Jenkins, North Lawn. Dana. Fox News alert. There's a cat. All right, let's bring in former <laughs> director of New York ICE removal, former New York ICE removals uh, director Tom Feely. Tom, uh, I just want to play a little bit. This call for one, everyone, to see, like, just set the scene for us back in Westchester County in August. You don't want to be in somewhere where the spotlight is. Yeah. You want to try to keep it as low as possible. A lot of this is just. No, I, I get it. I just, like I said. Stuff that we don't, tell people because what we don't want to do is attract attention we don't want the media yeah. like we don't even know where we're going when they tell us tom i'm interested in your perspective on this as somebody who used to do ice removals yeah so you know me and my good friend tom holman have pretty much been saying this since uh this past august um you know whenever your country is doing something in the middle of the night uh, it's never a good thing they've been doing this for quite a while they take illegal aliens from the border. We really don't know who they are. We don't know if they're COVID positive. We fly them all over the country. And I'm not sure what Jen's talking about, but you're definitely not flying them to detention centers. You're cutting them loose on the street and then we're never seeing them again. So mm -hmm. the, the reality between what's really happening and what the White House thinks is happening couldn't be more farther apart. We had Rob Astorino on with us yesterday, former Westchester County executive who wants to be governor of New York. He's a Republican. Uh, just listen to what he told Dana and me. And, and listen to the last line, call for number three, guys, of what he said in our interview. These people are being relocated to places like Westchester, Long Island, the suburbs, and other states, and nobody is informed. The communities that are affected, and we're paying the bill on this, the taxpayers, nobody is informed. But the federal government literally is breaking the law. And that's the point. The federal government's literally breaking the law. Right. You know, it... it it's not a mystery how our country works, right? Congress passes laws, the president signs them. If you don't like the law, Congress should change them. If Congress can't change the law because that's not what the American people want, that should be the end of the story, but that's not what is occurring. We're ignoring the law. We're letting illegal aliens go that have criminal records. For no, I mean, for what reason, to what end is this administration doing this? 
you, you'd have to be, if you can't make the connection to like New York City uh, wanting to give illegal aliens the right to vote and them just continue to run over the border and be shipped all around the country, I, I don't know what we can do to help people anymore. Mm. Let me ask you about the secrecy of it, though, because one of the things we heard was that there was a driver saying, I've picked up basketball teams who had more security than this. Um, the pilots sometimes didn't even know where they were going to be flying to. Uh, the drivers, as I said, they don't know once they get them where they're going. And I agree with you. It seemed a little strange to suggest that they were going to detention centers. That certainly didn't seem to be the case, that perhaps then they meet up with family members if they have them here. Is that the idea? Uh, no, not from my understanding. Like the video shows, you're, you're looking at mostly males between the ages of 18 and 21, uh, but you're always led to believe these are poor families that are coming across the border looking for a better life, which isn't the case right now. And, um, you know, the more secretive you try to get, the more, the less people you try to get involved in something, right? So when you try to do these flights at night, you try to do it on minimal staff, minimal security. You're trying to leave the smallest footprint you can uh, to keep it as secretive as you can. And, and you know, the, the administration I know has been doing this since August, right. and um, I don't see I mean, them stopping I, anytime yeah, in the near future. It took us so long to get the video, but once you got the video, you can prove it because it's on camera. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, thank you for your time. Right. Thomas Thanks, Tom. Feely there. Um, he's very right about what's happening in New day. York. Think of it, 800,000 non-citizens will be able to vote in city elections here very soon in New York unless they reverse the law. Go ahead, you're going to make a point? I don't know. I have a lot of points. There's a lot of things going I'll through my head. I'll I just tell think you that one. Okay. If I crossed the border into Belgium this afternoon and didn't have a passport or a visa or papers, the Belgian government would not allow me to continue going into their country and then let me get on a bus and travel to another city and just be A-OK. -okay. You know what else you In need? Belgium, you could not do that. You know what else you need? You can do it here. Go. Negative COVID test. Yeah.